If you want some comfort in leaving the top off your 2018 or newer four-door JL Wrangler, this easy 4x4 easy trunk will do just the trick. Now this mod will be a great addition to your build if you want an easy to use security system that's going to pop up when you need it and easily fold back down when you don't, offering you the flexibility for any adventure while also keeping that peace of mind that the things in your cargo area are safe and secure. Now, this will also act as a great deterrent to keep anybody from seeing what's in your cargo area while also protecting it with the lockable design, especially if you enjoy keeping the top off for longer periods of time and don't want to worry every time that you walk away from your Jeep. As it says in the name, this is going to be incredibly easy to pop up and use whenever you need to. Now this will feature two mounting locations for the factory tie down points so it's secure in the trunk and will stay in place, allowing you to utilize the D-rings as well so you don't have to sacrifice uh, that feature if you need to secure your items underneath this cover. Now when the cover is up and in place, this will offer a large six cubic feet of storage and will seal to the tailgate being unreachable when the tailgate is locked also thanks to the attached side panels for that full coverage design. Now what I like most about this and what really sets this apart from the rest is the flexibility that you have with this being able to fold it down when you don't necessarily need that extra measure of security and may want to utilize the entire cargo area. Now this will feature a pull strap to prop it up and of course release it back down and these panels on the side will be able to tuck into this whole system. So this is going to sit flat just like this uh, when it's down allowing you mostly all of that open cargo space that you started with. Now this will be made of a tough steel construction which will be durable especially with this nice black powder coat finish on top protecting that steel underneath from any rust resistance and also adding that heavy duty appeal that you may want to match with other accessories. Now the perimeter of this is going to seal to the sides. This is going to have a quality rubber on the outside here. It is going to be a little bit thinner. Then you're gonna have a thicker quality rubber on the back that's gonna to seal to the tailgate. That's gonna keep the weather out in those just in case rainstorms and also making sure that you won't be able to open this from the outside, of course, if you don't want to. Now, this will also come with all of the hardware and brackets that you need, including a longer tie down bolts uh, for when you're mounting this up so you don't have to reuse the factory ones. And it's also going to come with a little holder here for the hard top wiper fluid hose as well as the wiring harness if you want to tuck that underneath the panel here. Now when it comes to full lockable cargo security, especially with like a deck panel like this, this is gonna be a bit more affordable than most options at roughly $450. Now what I really like is that it's going to include a lot for that price point compared to other choices with this having the option to keep it folded down to allow full use of that cargo area. And when you need it, you can just easily pull a strap, pop out the panels, and you instantly have lockable storage for a large portion of your cargo area. Not to mention this takes literal minutes to install and is one piece so you don't have to worry about moving pieces. So I think if you want the added security without the hassle of install and other limitations, if you're constantly switching up what you put in the back of your Jeep, then this is going to be a great pick for you. Now, like I said, this is going to be incredibly easy as far as an install is concerned at a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking at most a half hour with some super basic hand tools. Now, one of our customers here has actually installed this in the back of her JL and is gonna walk you through what that process looks like step by step. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's get into the install. The tools we're using for this install is just a Phillips screwdriver and the provided star wrench that came with the Easy Trunk. Hey there, today we're gonna to be installing the Easy Trunk here in my JLU Wrangler. It's a product that I wanted to get so that I had a little added security in my cargo area, especially being in a city or anywhere you might be a little bit concerned about people looking in and seeing what's in the back of your Jeep. I feel like this is a nice measure to take. Not only are they not gonna be able to get inside, but like if there are people looking in your windows, they, they just won't be able to see what's in your cargo area. So. Let's get this unboxed and start putting everything together. So I have a side plate right here. Just loosen these. Honestly, probably don't even need the screwdriver for this. Oops, there's one. Two. Three. Four. So step two here, we're gonna install that side wing to the back plate. So getting that started here.
So I'm going to take out the screws. Whoops, drop one again. They're very tiny. Okay, got all three here. Now, I'm going to install this piece on the hinge right here. And you can see based on the instructions that the base plate is supposed to go underneath the hinge. Start these by hand to make things a little easier since they are so tiny. Okay, now I'm going to take my screwdriver and tighten these. have the passenger side plate here and I'm going to unscrew these once again. Oh, that one's a little stuck. One. Two. Three. And then once again the plate goes underneath the hinge. Tighten these. Okay. So if you do not have the subwoofer in your cargo area, then you can go ahead and leave this plate here on. If you do, like I do, I'm gonna remove this one and they provide us with one that the cutout is shaped to fit the subwoofer. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap these now. So I took off the one that comes pre-installed and I have the one here that is cut out to fit to the subwoofer in the back. So I'm going to put these six screws back in. And it kind of helps to lift up a little bit on the plate here because at first I was having trouble getting the screws to go in with this surface underneath of it. So I just noticed it works a little better if you hand screw them in and kind of lift up on this plate a little bit while you do it. get everything opened up here because now we're going to go in the back and we're going to pop up the middle D-rings on both sides. So we're just going to kind of wedge the screwdriver under the plastic piece here. There we go. Open that up. Same thing on the other side here. And once again, this is the middle of the three 
D-rings in the back. So now that we got the plastic pieces off here, we can use the provided star wrench that came with the easy trunk to remove the bolts. to the side. We're going to do the same on the other side. Now we have both of these removed. Now I'm taking this and it is quite heavy, so get some help if you need it, but I'm going to go ahead and gently slide this in. And you're going to kind of line up these plates where we took out those bolts. That's where we will be bolting it back down. So Easy Trunk provided these two longer bolts. So we're going to use those along with this D-ring here to put this back on with the Easy Trunk plate in between. Close this plastic piece, and now we will do the same on the other side. So next we are over here on the driver's side. We're going to install this piece here, right about here, um, for this hose to come through. But first we're going to wipe it off with this alcohol pad and then let it dry before we stick that on. We're gonna let that dry. So we can just go ahead and remove the sticker here from the back and place this right about here. Put nice firm pressure. We're gonna open it up now. Definitely don't pull on this rubber seal here because it'll come off. So grab this strap and use it to get yourself some leverage. These panels are gonna fall open, so kind of hold them there and slowly open them. And you wanna open this side panel. So as you can see, there's this angled metal piece here. We just want to make sure that it's it kind of it's kind of loose, so you can move it around. We want to make it parallel to this side panel here, and then I'll screw it down tight.
there we go. Just wanted to note that on the passenger side, this panel here, make sure that there's a lip up top here. Make sure it's underneath the top panels. There is a way when you're opening it that you might want to try to pull the panel out too soon and it might end up with this lip on top, but it's meant to go underneath and you'll see it'll sit a lot more flush if this is underneath. So just regarding the hoses in the corner here, if they are not connected, mine are connected, but if they're not, you can just take them and they suggest, Easy Trunk suggests that you tuck them kind of under the plastic on the side here, or I'm assuming you could also tuck them just down underneath the Easy Trunk. Since mine are connected, it just suggests that you kind of gather them up in the, in the corners just so as to not get in the way of the panel here. Mine, I think, is fine how it is, but essentially you can just kind of do whatever you need to do with your, your cables and your hoses here to just get them out of the way of this panel when you're putting it down. Now that the easy trunk is up, we can go ahead and close our swing gate. And you come take a look, you can see there's really no way for anybody to get their hands in here. From all sides, it is secure. Whatever you put in there, people won't be able to see it. People won't be able to reach in. It's very sturdy. If you had the top off, the doors off, you could keep some goods in there. Nobody's going to get to it. I like it for just privacy reasons and not having anyone be able to look in my windows and see what I got from going shopping or whatnot. And then if you're not using it, you can just collapse it how it was before. And you have your full cargo area essentially for bigger bigger things. So this is the area where you would install one of these brackets depending on what type of top you have. I think for a traditional hard top there's normally a bolt right about here and this is where they want you to install this panel and like I said it kind of prevents someone from being able to lift up this panel. I mean even without it it's still very sturdy which is why I'm just going to elect not to do it but I think if I wanted to I could probably put this here. So we'll see but traditional hardtop, it would be a little bit farther this way. If you have a soft top, there's another angled piece that kind of blocks this down here. So someone can, couldn't even get their fingers in there. These also come with the easy trunk. Um, as you can see, they're kind of circle cutouts that you can pop out. And it's basically just little rubber type material that you can place anywhere where you might be experiencing rattling. So I'm just gonna have to take a listen and see if I'll need to use these, but just know that you have them. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and the install of this easy 4x4 easy trunk fitting all 2018 and newer four-door JL Wranglers. And remember, for all things Jeep, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.